Hi guys, welcome back in this new tutorial for my YouTube and Vimeo channel. In this uh, video, I want to talk about uh, how to export and import uh, inside 3DX Max uh, the Alembic uh, and why sometimes we need to export in Alembic for use uh, inside also the same software. Usually when you export from one software, maybe you export for use it in another kind of software. However, here we have a very nice shin I did for one uh, bad guy in some years ago for one uh, trade uh, uh, tutorial. It's a uh, very bad guy is uh, made, uh, ask me that, but however, if this is another story. And here we have this car. This is very little scar car with the animation, with the complex rig, with uh, also more deformation, it's very nice, it's animated from one frame to other. And here we have also the helicopter, because uh, here the, the shoot is very nice, because there is one helicopter is moving and is uh, looking that uh, element is like the police or the, or, uh, the car with the race car, with uh, the car is falling for uh, with a video camera. Anyway, here I want to export this element and obviously I want to export also the wheel. So I start to select my wheel, my rim. And also the body car. I can check with the isolate selection. Yes, I take also all the all elements. Obviously here there is a hole because this model is uh, thinking all, only for create the exterior animation. However, anyway, this is not important for now. Here now I want to export this element and so I can find file, also I can drag and drop and create the float menu. Also I have the import and the export. I go to export, export selected and I choose here the alembic. Okay, I write the exist because I created, but I want to show you also to create from scratch. Here you can choose your format, Ogava or HDF5. And here you can choose if for the single frame, the active time segment, so all timeline, or you can set the range if you want also with the samples per frame. Maybe you can bake the animation for one frame by frame. However, I want uh, it's uh, all element here. It's okay for me now. And here you can choose also the export data because maybe you have the more data like, for example, the, you have the particles and the particles you have uh, the velocity. You can choose also to export the velocity. And here you have also the particle shape as mesh, because here if you have the particle system like PFLOW, you can choose to export that in the mesh without problem. Okay, when you have uh, all elements here, you can set the all elements here, you can click on export and wait is export for you, is start to cooking. You can see here is working, it's very fast to export that. Why sometimes you need to export from a Max and import on Max? Because sometimes maybe you have one shin, you create your all element and you need to assemble in one part. But maybe you don't, for example, in this shin here, we have all element like, for example, the control of car. And you don't want to assemble the car with all element because maybe this car is the secondary element in your animation and maybe it's not looking in the front of camera maybe it's looking in the background so it's not more important to see also and adjustment some part in another file however here you can also create the new new file you can create a new all don't save because it's not important now for this uh, example and here with uh, import import you can choose your animation your file and here you can choose how to import import shen to root you can and fit the animation with the range and set the time for your animation the end kind and you can choose the kind of import data you want here 
for now we can choose all the, the import and voila, it's completed. You have your element with the rim, with the tire and with the body car. Also we have here the rim, the tire and uh, the car. And more important now, maybe you see, hey, it maybe it's not animated. Yeah, it's animated. You can see also here your element. It's uh, moved around, so it's go around and it's perfect animation here. Maybe here is uh, the effects of uh, the, the ground also is uh, taken without problem. So it's nice, nice to see that. And for this tutorial, it's all. It's a very easy tutorial, but I think it's very nice also sometimes can use this technique because uh, maybe it can help you for more uh, aspects, more elements, maybe when uh, you work.